Hi there, out in the garden, uh, in the backyard today, and um, taking a look around. We've had um, another real uh, cold front um, that came in yesterday, um, kind of affected the farmer's market a bit, and um, the gardening, uh, harvesting and stuff like that, but there wasn't a lot of uh, real gardening that happened yesterday just because it was truly a windy and rainy and cold, and um, <laughs> for us in South Texas, when it was 85 degrees and significantly hotter the day before, it really affects us. Um, uh, it affects everything, the plants and the animals and everything like that. So um, anyways, um, I'm out here today and um, just kind of leading forward, I've, I have, uh, I think I've missed literally two days throughout this whole thing already now so um and it's usually on a wednesday um wednesdays tend to be a challenge because i um spend a lot of time indoors doing uh work indoors and then um get out pretty early in the afternoon and don't make it back into the house until after dark and so um but i'm leading forward with doing 50 50 days of videos um i've just missed a, a one or two days in there yesterday would be the one one of those that counted um into that and um so you know um that's just what it is sometimes and you do the best that you can and you move on and um, and then you uh, manage those uh, expectations for future uh, needs right so uh, anyway I'm out here looking at the garden things are looking really really good um, the days of warmth are actually uh, kind and helpful because they get our seeds to germinate um, give our plants a couple days to grow uh, it would be nice if we could um, stop having such significant and drastic changes in the weather um, but, uh, those warm days give the plants some time to grow, um, and the warmth that they need, and then the cool air, um, helps to manage the bugs a little bit better, and, uh, just give some of the plants the break that they need, um, as well. So, uh, I was just looking over here at, um, how well my cilantro is now all coming up and doing well. Um, I've got this beautiful rainbow shard. I'm going to do some more work on that, and look, my, um, my, uh, Russian red kale is starting to put um, its adult leaves on it. Um, so some of the plants are starting to put their adult leaves on. I'm going to work on today and getting those into some bigger pots. A friend of mine gave me a huge, I'm not even kidding, I have to show you, to say thank you to um, Leo for this help too, by the way. Um, and I'm sure some of these will actually go over to the garden because we probably don't need this many pot, big pots over here at the house. Um, but uh, that stack of the big those big pots is really really helpful um, that'll give me the ability to um, to you basically have a gar a container garden before I'm ready to have um, an in the ground garden uh, anybody that knows much about leeks um, I'm just trying to decide whether and when is the time to move those into uh, I have moved moved leeks before uh, but I felt like they were bigger than that when I moved them uh, I've already moved some other leeks around this year over at the garden. I have quite a few um, leeks already up and coming. Um, and then my lettuce over here, look at that. I'm really excited about that because um, I'm really just going to keep it, uh, I'm going to keep it cutting it young. Um, and so just basically this is my um, salad bar out here. We kind of heard, heard people make those jokes. The dill's coming up really well around um, the cabbage and stuff like that. That's uh helpful to keep some of those bugs off. You can tell one of the pests that we deal with out here is uh, leaf miners. Um, I think neem oil is helpful with that um, and uh, a couple other uh, like uh, insecticidal soap or soap. We could do a spray of that but um, I tend to stay away from that stuff as much as I can. Um, if it's not ultimately killing the plant um, I, I try to just avoid any kind of spray even uh, organic uh, sprays or uh, any kind of pest control like that. I, I, us I usually try to plant plants for the pests um, and, uh, and, and help basically to create um, a well ecosystem uh, you have to feed everything. If you feed everything then everything will be happy and nothing will eat the things it won't eat all of the things that you don't want it to eat. So um, okay so here's this leaks. These are the ones that I was wasn't sure. It did take a long time for those other ones to come up, and I do see that they're beginning to come up. So, um, this plant I really know nothing about. Um, so, I'm not 100% sure when to expect to see 
uh, the beginning germination of that. Um, this chard is up and I'm pretty happy to see that. I may go ahead and move these actually today and then I think I'll wait a little longer on these. I wonder what happened to my um, my little uh, message that told me what these plants are, by the way. <laughs> my little... Anyway. Um, okay, and let's see. What else do I have going on out here that's new that might be of interest to you guys? Um, it's time for me to get these all planted somewhere. They're, um, they're really not... Well, hello. Did you want to say hi? Hi. You guys are getting a lot friendlier, huh? Yeah, you can tell right here that these plants are not looking great so I need to get them uh, into some more soil uh, bigger pots um, this is the newfound everybody loves it um, uh, Mexican mint marigold um, is very good for um, companion planting a pest Ooh, look at this there's a I need to get around in here because there's something eating my um, uh, sage liar I think it's liar leaf sage there's something eating it so I need to get in there this is uh, good for tea is what I'm understanding um, but I need to get in there and find out where the bug, where the caterpillar that's eating it is hanging out at. Um, this plant I'm very happy about. This is my New Zealand spinach. And uh, this spinach will grow in the heat a little better than some of the other varieties of spinach. So I'm going to start cutting on this uh, probably daily now to get um, uh, uh, some greens from that. You know, get that back to my... Um, backyard salad bar kind of thing concept um, arugula somebody was asking last night at the farmers market who grew arugula why people don't grow arugula we do grow arugula um, it's just that it's just now getting to the time of year when we're gonna plant those kinds of soft greens um, and also some of the farmers in this area over the years have been cautious of growing or market gardeners farmers have been cautious of growing things like arugula because our customers didn't know what to do with it so that's a part of the education that we'll have to do as well um, in the, the nonprofit that I that I uh, am the executive director for is um, growing all the different types of things, um, but then teaching um, a broader audience um, about how to grow that. Now, ah, there we go. Finally, I was curious about these onions and why they had not come up yet, but there I see one right there. It's interesting that it came up this far over. I'm not sure what that's about. Mint's starting to be, it'll be a lot happier um, once it gets in the ground and has a place to grow all over the place. Let's see about these onions over here. I still don't see any pop-ups over there. So anyways, uh, also I did this. I've done this work um, the last few days. I'm really getting this space pretty prepared. Um, that ground's all now broken up, but there's so much heavy clay out here um, that it's going to take some time to get the... The, a nice layer of humus built up um, and uh, get some sand into that soil um, and get it broken down um, into something that will actually grow well um, out here. Let's see what else is going on over here that I can point out to you guys. Mm. Anyways, well, it's time for us to start paying attention to the weather a little closer so that we can know what to do with these plants now that we've got them all going out here. Um, what will we do with them as we move forward through potential frosts and uh, freezes? And um, it's been really nice to be able to walk out and get that, um, that uh, salad bar where I can just snip away. I'll take from broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, um, Brussels sprouts, arugula, that New, New Zealand spinach, the lettuce once it gets up a little bit further, the Swiss chard once it starts getting up a little bit further, of course the kale as well. Um, so uh, yeah, just kind of trimming the greens off of here. You can have your own green. It's super easy to have that part for yourself, um, uh, for your uses, for daily use. Um, so anyways, I hope that more people will get to growing and get to gardening. Um, that's really, in my opinion, the only way that we're ever gonna have any true um, uh, change in um, the uh, food insecurity issues that we're having in this country, as I've said before, in a country that is not food insecure um, by any stretch of the means. Anyway, have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Be well.